Welcome back friends to Build A Lot Acres. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the stump vise, whether or not I think there's a better option out there. Stay tuned. One small town New England family living out their adventures, one day at a time, sharing for the whole world to see. This is Build A Lot Acres. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Now there are some things I really like about these and there's some things that I don't. So we're gonna go over them in today's video. Let's start off with the positives. It's nice and portable. You can carry it in your pocket. It's light. You can bring it anywhere. You can use it on pretty much any stump or any piece of wood like around that you have here. Even for a bigger saw like this Dormar 7900 with a 32 inch bar, it still works quite well. But there is a problem with these stump vices that I want to show you. I think the guys in the western part of the United States are probably gonna be much more likely to have a big set of dogs like these. These are aftermarket dogs. And these are gonna be more for trees with really thick bark where you wanna get a really good bite. Like some of the big softwoods out west. And you can see right away the problem. The saw is much higher than the actual stump vise. So you really gotta tilt it at quite a downward angle to be able to sharpen. The problem with that is now your saw is pitched down and when you sharpen, I'm the kind of person that I like to visually have the bar fairly level. This helps me get a good angle in the tooth. And also, it's not very stable because the only thing you're resting on is the point where you're tightening the stump vise onto the bar and also the points of the dogs. So for saws with bigger dogs like this, it really doesn't work all that well. Now there is one other problem that I'd like to go over. Depending on where you're cutting your wood lot, you know, forest, whatever, you might not be dealing with big diameter trees. This oak log is about an 18 inch diameter piece. But what if you're only dealing with smaller stuff like this? So now we've got about a 12 inch oak log. Now you can see that you have much less room to be able to work with to sharpen your saw. In addition, it's not nearly as stable. The last thing I don't like about these stump vices is you're restricted to the height of your rounds. Now these are 20 inch rounds because I process to longer. Most people when they cut their stumps aren't going to leave them up very high. They're not going to be much higher than these 20 inch rounds. A lot of people are going to cut them lower. And you might cut your rounds of firewood to 16 inches in length. So you're working at a very low height. Now, if you're a person with lower back problems or limited mobility, that's gonna get uncomfortable after a while. So there is another alternative that I've found that I believe is superior to the stump vise, and I'm gonna show you what it is right now.
So what do you guys think of this baby? This is a four and a half inch swivel base vise. I picked this up at a yard sale for cheap money. I think it was like 10 bucks. And there's a few things that I really like about this when comparing it to a stump vise. First thing is it's a real vise. You can clamp much better with this on a number of objects, more than just chainsaw bars out in the wood lot. And it's gonna hold your item much better than the stump vise gonna. Another thing I like about this is it can go in any receiver hitch. It could be a two inch receiver, an inch and a quarter, whatever you have, you can set up to make work. It could be a tractor three point hitch like I have here. It could be a pickup truck, side by side, four wheeler. You know, pretty much any vehicle that you can use to tow that has a receiver hitch, you can mount a vise like this into. I like it on the three point hitch because it's height adjustable. I can comfortably file while standing, which is really nice on my lower back versus the 20 inch height. And I have to bend over with the stump vise. So let's try this out and see how it compares. Now this is the same steel 460 that we could not sharpen on the stump vise. Comfortable working height, height adjustable. And swivel base, so I can work it from any angle. Now, of course, this is easily customizable. Like I said, you could do a two inch receiver, or an inch and a quarter receiver. You could do a small vise like I have here. You could do a bigger vise. It's really all up to your imagination and what you have for available tools and equipment. If I was probably more of a commercial outfit, I would probably want a bigger, heavier duty vise, maybe a full size, you know, five inch vise or so. It would have a deeper throat, a little bigger jaws so I could hold saws a little better. But another big positive that I didn't touch on earlier that I want to touch on now is in addition to holding saws to sharpen them like this, you can use this vise for pretty much any repair out in the woodlot. You might be several miles deep in the brush, not have access to any shops, and you know maybe your bar gets pinched and you need to bend it back. Maybe your chain breaks, you need to pinch it back and repair it. There's a number of things that you can do in this vise that you are not gonna be able to do in the stump vise, and at the end of the day, if you buy one of these vices cheap at a yard sale, you're really not going to spend all that much more money than you are on a stump vice. By the way, if you guys want to see videos on my custom three-point hitch weight box attachment, which serves not only as extra weight, but also a logging attachment slash receiver hitch attachment, as well as my custom build on this cargo carrier wooden box that you see here where I'm carrying all my tools, both of those videos are in the description. But I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video on why I think the receiver hitch vise is the better option for your logging operation. See you next time.